Meet us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Hey guys, meet Samsung Galaxy Grand 3. Uh, this is also called as a Samsung Galaxy Grand Max, and um, it depends on the region which is called. All right, so this is a big phone. Uh, this is not typically a big enough phone for now market, but um, it normally is a big phone with the name of the Galaxy Grand. It comes with the five and the quarter inch of a display with the receiver and the five megapixel camera on top. It's an enormous upgrade from the previous Galaxy Grands. Uh, it's a five megapixel camera and takes a pretty good selfies. Uh, five and a quarter inches of a 720p display. It's, it comes with an IPS panel. It's not the AMOLED that you usually see in a Samsung devices. Uh, it has a pretty good screen. Multitasking key, home key and the back key resides at the bottom of the screen and the right side has a power key along with the earphone jack and the volume rocker with the micro USB port on the bottom with the microphone. And the back's got the 13 megapixel camera and the LED flash and the speaker and the Samsung logo and that's pretty much it. It has this uh, special pattern uh, embraced on the back so uh, it will depend on your taste if you like it or not. Uh, behind the battery cover that's removable it comes with the micro SD the card and the micro SIM card slot, which uh, in some reasons come with dual SIMs. So if you want one, there will come one. And the battery, we got the replacement, uh, replaceable battery of 2,500 milliamps, and it comes with an amazing battery life. Uh, that 2,500 milliamps doesn't really sound spectacular on this, uh, on the numbers itself, but um, on the actual runtime, it gives us a pretty impressive numbers. All right. All right, so turning it on, it gives you the Samsung lock screen. It's just nothing special. It's the usual Samsung TouchWiz interface. Um, if what Samsung has told us is right, it should have come with the uh, enhanced TouchWiz user interface that's got lighter overall. And it seems pretty much the true. Um, the battery life is improved and everything pretty much is snappy, uh, especially the multitasking functions that usually took uh, as long as a second for it to pop up now comes almost instantaneously. The version wise, it comes with the under 4.4. Uh, point four. It probably is going to get an upgrade to the Lollipop, but we're not quite sure. Um, and um, the everything is pretty much the same. The TouchWiz interface, aside from the fact that it's got lighter due to their um, mods, uh, it come it retains most of its um, functionalities. The few things though, the Galaxy Grand is missing compared to the high-end devices like the Galaxy S4 or the Galaxy Note is the one-hand functionality uh, operation ability that um, shrinks the size of the screen to the to the size of your thumb so you it's easier for you to control with your one hand it's now gone and there are a few other functions like a call blocks or the or the the haptic vibration on the touch keys and the keyboards is now missing uh, those minor things are probably because of the cost reduction software wise or the hardware wise but it sure comes as a that definitely is a minus. Uh, the display, however, is pretty nice. Um, there are a lot of people who are fans of AMOLED and who are not. Um, AMOLED does have some of its pros and cons and the IPS display does show a bright screen and the color seems to be pretty uh, great on the screen as well. Uh, the pixel density coming at 720p isn't exactly enormous like the WQHD at the LG G3 or, or anything, but um, it's good enough for the size of the screen. And also the another feature that it misses is the color, um, the color mode functionality on the display section that allowed you to change the color temperature and the color sharpnesses. It's not there, but the color reproduction seems to be okay, except for the little tint on the blue. Um, the blue seems to be a bit lighter than the other phones. Um, it's, this is not something spectacular that's gonna affect your usage, but it's there just for your info. The biggest part of the Galaxy Grand Max or the Galaxy Grand 3 is the battery life. The battery comes with the 2500 milliamps replaceable battery and this shows a very impressive uh, testings. Although it doesn't come with any of the battery saving functionality that's, um, that we have seen, but the screen on time at the LTE connection all the time and the normal usage like the web surfing and the music, um, it maintained to get a, uh, give us about the th five hours to the six hours of the screen on time. That was pretty impressive. And so far, one of the best battery life on the phones that we have reviewed this year. Uh, spec wise, it's nothing uh, impressive. Um, it comes with the Snapdragon 410 processor. It's a 64 bit enabled one, but it comes with the Android 4.4. So you won't be uh, able to get the effect of the 64 bit unless you get an update. 
Um, the RAM wise, it comes with the 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. That seems to fit just about the screen resolution of the phone. And the thing is, uh, when we usually hear about the Snapdragon 400 lineups or the 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, we suspect that it's not gonna run as snappy as the other phones. But um, let's say that you go web surfing and this is on the LTE connection and the scrolling and the reactions overall is actually a lot snappier than the most of the Samsung phones. And we were not able to see any of the lags that we have seen on the other Snapdragon 400 devices that uh, we reviewed so far. There were kind of lags here and there when you were using a device devices below Snapdragon 600. Uh, Snapdragon 200s and 400s usually come with the noticeable lags, but this Snapdragon 410 and the Galaxy Grand 3's uh, Samsung TouchWiz, we were not able to see that. Um, another downside from the mid-ranger like the Galaxy Grand 3 is usually the camera. And the 13 megapixel camera does its job, although it's not spectacular, it does its job. And the five megapixel uh, selfie camera snapper over here at the front actually does a better job than most of its competitors. And um, that was quite impressive. And um, it's totally usable, it's nothing um, impressive, but it's there. Um, the sound quality wasn't that great. The call quality actually was better than we thought, but the speaker or the music coming from the earphone was not exactly great. But everything uh, everything that comes short was mostly covered by the battery life. Um, this is not exactly a big screen phone or a small screen phone, and the battery capacity seemed to just fit it well. But the actual battery runtime was a lot better than we thought. So the Galaxy Grand 3 is a no surpriser. It doesn't come with the highest CPU or nor the highest screen resolution or anything of the top notch specs. But um, for this kind of price, you could get the higher grade uh, smartphones from the other manufacturers. But for what they have, Snapdragon 410 and the 1.1 1 .1 and a half gigabytes of RAM, Samsung has done a great job at maintaining this thing to the usability. Uh, it does miss some functions, the high high end functions that we see on the flagships, but it does uh, it does its job and it does it pretty great. So that was Samsung Galaxy Grand 3, and stay tuned for other reviews. Thanks.